<laughs> Good morning, how are you? How you doing? How's your day? How how's your week last week? I'm having it's my birthday week guys. It's my birthday week, it's my birthday week, it's my birthday week, it's my birthday week. <laughs> It's my birthday week. I am so excited. I hope Joy US. Mnayona Joy US. Um I hope I have a good week all through. I'm going to be happy this week. I'm going to intentionally choose to be happy. Um okay. So this on Monday I am going to the school. There's something I need to sort out. So that's what I'm going to sort out. Um, actually, I need them to give me an address. There's, there's somewhere I'm supposed to drop some documents. And I've tried to look for that address on the map. Sioni. So I'm like, I'm just going there for them to confirm to me. Is this the, like, where is this building? I can't find it on the map. So that they can advise me. I can ask you, it's such a good day. <laughs> Hi guys, so I already dropped the documents and I am going to catch the bus so that I can go to the mall and get the sports shoes. Um, someone was asking me how I get like how i get to the bus how i bought the bus like how the bus system works here so there's an app that shows you when the bus is where the bus is the route it's taking and when it's gonna arrive at your nearest bus stop um so yeah once you check it the time keeps changing depending on if they get stopped by a red light if they have to wait but you just have to make sure you're at the bus stop a few minutes before it gets there because once it gets there it doesn't wait for you for long like if you figure a bus stop neko same say and once it's gone you're gonna have to wait for like 40 minutes because it has to finish its route and then come back again it just keeps rotating rotating evil so yeah uh, it's currently 124 and according to the map it says the bus will be here by 128 so that's what i'm gonna wait for yeah i'll show you guys if i can how it looks i look so greasy I just went into Route 21 just to like just to look at things you know when you don't want to buy anything but you just want to look like it things are so beautiful things are so nice when I get my money right <laughs> for sure and there's a photo booth here by the way I don't know when I'll come to take photos here let me show you how it looks don't try to come back when you find me I always want to do but it's dead I don't see you You got something real not bad You want to get with me, stop Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded Most of these things I don't want to say Girl, not $7 per photo 
I would rather invest on a Polaroid camera. Seven dollars per photo, come on. Not on my bill. black and they these are actually more expensive the other ones are like a bit cheaper but they have white and i don't want to risk it so i'm gonna take this um this black one it's gonna space your socks i feel like the other one is too fitting and i don't like wearing these closed shoes without socks so i'll take this one that has a bit more space to accommodate socks Got them. The sneakers were so expensive. I just I'm just going back home. Ain't no way I've spent that much money. I honestly can't believe sneakers are even more expensive than heels. Like male things are so expensive, honestly. I need a break. I cannot spend way <laughs> I was like, mm mm. I am not even going to buy clothes. I'm not buying anything. Then at home, ni pike ni I was to get my nails done. Hey, I still have to get my nails done. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I can hear me talking. I'm going to but the weather is so freaking nice. Like, it's not humid. It's not too hot. It's just the perfect weather. It's not cold. It doesn't look like it's going to rain. No, it doesn't look like it's going to rain. So, yeah. I want to wash my hair. But I think I'll do it tomorrow. So I'm wearing it out today. I put this wig band. If that's what it's called. Um, just to hold it back when I'm working out. Today I look so cute. Kai! Oh my god. Like, because I haven't worked out in like so long because I was having my periods. And now I was like, if I look cute, I'm gonna be motivated to work out. And that's what I've done. I'm literally in all pink <laughs> with my pink drink <laughs> yeah let me go work out hmm where is the i think this is better lighting what you working with <laughs> yeah let's go hi guys i have not vlogged for a while now um i came from the gym and i have cooked i have not shown myself cooking because it's the same thing i think i prepared in the last video i've just prepared the last pork that i had and some noodles and there's something i want to do on my laptop so yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um let me just show you how my food looks but 
i'm gonna log off i'll see you guys tomorrow am i doing anything tomorrow really am i doing anything tomorrow is the question i don't think tomorrow is on wednesday i don't think oh yeah i have to wash my hair i have to wash my clothes my bedding and go to the gym these are tattoo too here then on thursday i don't think i'll vlog but i have to go to work on thursday i can't vlog my working so yeah and then on friday is my birthday <laughs> friday and birthday can you guys see well really it looks burnt but it's not it's just it's the right amount this is what i'm having for dinner yeah hi guys welcome back to my channel okay you, you, it's still the same vlog my tongue is blue because i was having i was having this this things this candy i didn't think it was going to leave my tongue blue and i need to be at work in a few i don't want to be there talking to people with a blue tongue i've tried brushing it but it was darker than this so this was the best that i could do i have a little update for you guys uh, so oh child you remember the girl that i had um the girl i had gone to the boots boat ride with um the other day like a few days ago so this senegalese girl who i had started talking to um she was actually transferring schools she's going to another university in chicago because her sister is there and she doesn't like she feels too alone here she's been here i think from january because she came here from for the spring semester so she was leaving and which is sad by the way because she's the only girl i've been talking to it's like oh my god but it's cool it's cool it was a blessing in disguise she was leaving and because she couldn't carry everything she had she's given me so many things that i want to show you guys she's given me so many things like it's crazy i was just like wow like wow it's crazy anyway so one of the things she gives me gave me is this blanket which she gave me today morning because she was leaving today very early in the morning um she washed them and gave it to me which is so warm it's warmer than the one that i was using and she gave me pillows and i have two pillows and because she gave me uh she also gave me a bed sheet and pillowcases which are here so now i was like i was able to use both of my bed sheets to unite the bed as a king size yesterday i slept so well like i had the best dream i was just sleeping across the whole bed a whole king size bed to myself <laughs> i had so much like i had the best time she gave me hangers like so many of them and even a new pack that she hadn't used and funny thing most of the things she gave me are the things that i needed to buy and i've been meaning to buy but every time i forget or i just brush my shoulders i'm like i'll buy it next time i'll buy it next time so every time i've been post i've been needing hangers from the day i got here but i've never bought them all my clothes are folded in the wardrobe but now i get to hang them and that's what i want to do i washed my clothes yesterday i have just washed my hair today I'm waiting for the treatment to like soak in so i want to put my clothes in the wardrobe i want to show you guys the before and after and then i'll show you guys more of the things that she's given me this is the situation in my wardrobe because i did not have a hanger and this is how i was hanging these are just two things but everything is folded and sometimes it's a mess because today i was looking for jeans and sometimes it's a mess once i'm done and i have to put them back but now i can hang everything up and even the other the other wardrobe is also things are also folded 
you see the situation i really needed the hangers yeah she just wanna dance and tease me she just wanna dance and tease me she just wanna dance and tease me you've been missing since 2016 squid tell me one fix you know that's my sister when she speak i listen she swears you're my missing i say we think different guys if this place looks like a mess just know it's because i'm still arranging everything and trying to fix everything that was given to in my room so yeah that is it um i was not able to show you guys the shoes i think i showed you while i had them on so these are the shoes that i got from shoe shoe department yeah these pumas you guys see them they're so comfortable like i could stand in this for hours and i am a sneakerhead so this was like ah yeah so comfortable these are the ones i'm going to work with today and i also got socks from them i only came with one pair of socks and it's pink so i decided to get a six pair pack of black socks to wear with the shoes um so right now i want to show you guys the things that sokna sokna if i'm spelling her name correctly the things she gave me and yeah she gave me some plates these are the plates she had if you by the way guys this is so that you know this is crazy it's the same plate i bought but hers is in is it green or blue literally the same plate even the material you see yeah so she gave me hers i had two of these um and i also wanted when i was buying them i wanted to buy this platter but then i was like okay i don't have the money to keep on to buy luxury so now i get to have these like this is so cute this is so cute i was so happy she gave me that she gave me so many spices let me show you there is sea salt there is barbecue she gave me crushed red pepper you know i love this i cook everything with this so i have more um total seasoning garlic this is garlic ah you can never go wrong with garlic black pepper 
I'm starting to think this paper thing is actually an African thing because most people here are not used to pepper or spicy foods but yeah she has a whole bottle of black pepper which is mine now she also gave me this corned beef i've never had it but i was willing to try maybe when it comes to food bring it on um parsley i do have that bay leaves onion powder i love onion powder um chili powder and smoked paprika she also gave me a pan imende uchafu but yeah i could use this to be making eggs and <laughs> and she gave me eggs too by the way she gave me every time i do my shopping i always say i'm going to buy eggs and i forget so she gave me eggs and i was like yep i need to start buying my own eggs can't wait to prepare this my cousin was telling me how she's never seen me prepare breakfast on my videos and that is because guys i don't usually have an appetite in the morning usually i start feeling hungry at around 12 12 noon and by that time i just want a meal so i end up eating a leftover meal or i make a sandwich but i'm gonna do a breakfast video after my birthday vlog tomorrow is my birthday period after my birthday vlog i'm gonna show you what i would have for breakfast if i was to be a breakfast person i wake up really early but i don't like having breakfast because i'll get nauseated so yeah i got eggs now um she gave me more mustard yellow and I, mine is still a lot i'm like oh my god what did i do with all this mustard um some oregano and lastly garlic powder Ooh, more garlic she gave me a cooking spoon but first coffee a mug and another spoon wow buffa ranch she gave me a pink cooking pot pink things excite me pink things excite me so much oh my god it's so cute and it's my perfect pink like pastel pink is my favorite favorite pink you can never go wrong with pastel pink ever 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 so now i have a cooking pot ah! <laughs> and it's so big i don't know like what would i be cooking here for one we'll figure it out i see people using this especially when cooking like pasta spaghetti spaghetti <laughs> yeah i see people really putting this to drain it i don't know i might start doing that one knife another knife another knife i can't like can you imagine i once was unable to cook because i didn't have a knife and now i have so many knives okay god thank you thank you thank you thank you okay we're done with that she also gave me cooking oil i won't need to buy any like i won't need to buy cooking oil until i move back like i move to the fall apartments and some white vinegar um this i don't know what to call it this tins that i got from dollar tree a while back she gave me she has a lot of tins she gave me so many of them there's one two there's an inside one three and there's another one here for either this i wanted to buy them especially for cook like baking something like um uh, cooking chicken in the oven i needed this but i always forgot to buy them so now i can buy wings or something and just make them in the oven she also gave me an all-purpose baking flour i don't know what i'll make with this but i will make something so i'm just gonna put the spices and then i'll leave the utensils out here then let's go dry my hair 
and then what time is it right now it's like 1 or 2 p.m i need to be at work by 5 p.m so i still have a couple of hours to kill and during those hours i'm going to be editing this vlog because i want to post it and i get to work up to 11 p.m drawer full of spices until zingine skojia zingine they're now so many wow yep finished drying my hair i want to hold it back but i want to just put some oil on top of it we were told to go to work being re being presentable i was supposed to go for a t-shirt for my uh my staff t-shirt but i didn't go for it so i'm just gonna go early then change maybe in the washroom because it's just the t-shirt i have the jeans on um, yeah, and I wanted to read you guys the word The word I am doing this. This is a word that I received yesterday From Bishop T.D. Jacks. If you know me already, you already know my favorite preachers ever It's Bishop T.D. Jacks and Pastor Sarah Jacks. So every time I'm just bored And I, I feel like I want to hear from God. I go to those preachings and they speak to me, they speak to my spirit, they speak to my soul. And this one was about Joseph. And funny thing, Joseph's story is one of my favorite stories. I'll tell you guys why one day, but Joseph's story is my favorite story. It's like Joseph and David. Those are my favorite warrior stories in the Bible. So this one was Genesis something. Was it Genesis, really? I think it was Genesis. Yeah. Let me read for you guys the chapter which... Genesis chapter 39, verse 20 to 23. So a backstory about this verse. This is when Joseph had, be, had been sold to, to slavery by his brothers. And he was sold to slavery by his brothers because he kept having this dream that he was going to be a star and that his brothers were going to worship him and Yanni are going to be lower than him. He's going to rule over them. And it got the brothers so jealous of him and they tried to sell him out for slavery and he went to work for potiphar and then when he was working for potiphar god gave him favor and 
he got he, like he got really promoted he was really like having a good life and then potiphar's wife wanted to sleep with him and when she wasn't able to sleep with him she accused him of trying to rape her so when potiphar came and heard the story he's mad he's pissed off so that's where the context is and joseph this is verse 20 now and joseph's master took him and put him into the prison the place where king's prisoners were confined and he was there in prison but the lord was with joseph and showed him steadfast love and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison and the keeper of the prison put joseph in charge of all the prisoners who are in prison whatever was done there he was the one who did it the keeper of the prison paid no attention to anything that was in joseph's charge because the lord was with him and whatever he did the lord made it succeed oh my god this word just spoke to me guys and i pray it speaks to you the same way it spoke to me bishop was literally just saying joseph like joseph's life let me do this while i oil my hair joseph's life is just a representation about what we go through like what life is because it started by joseph was one of was his dad's favorite child because he was um joseph's dad is jacob and jacob was trying to marry rachel but he was given leah at first and he had to work another seven years a total of 14 years to marry rachel and rachel had two kids joseph and benjamin so joseph was like when when rachel died joseph was the only representation of J jacob's true love you get so he was his dad's favorite and the fact that he kept having these dreams that he was going to be big and successful the brothers got really jealous so you see he's he's at, at one point he's at his father's house being the favorite child enjoying everything enjoying his father's love enjoying and having dreams that he's going to be big life is good for him until his brothers betray him and now he's being sold to slavery and now he has to go through all that change and confusion and you still had dreams that you are going to be big but now you're being sold to slavery and then he goes there and something that was supposed to make him fail actually makes him succeed and he starts getting getting favor with the potiphar and climbing um anapanda cheo like he kept getting so much favor he gets to be one of the leaders and then potiphar's wife tries to like you know and then now he's in prison again like the ups and downs of life one day you're going you're, everything is doing good your business is through is thriving your love life is thriving your parents are proud of you you are proud of you your everything you put your hands on is working and then one day you wake up and everything is crashing down and everything is just not working anymore your business is failing your school is stressing you the job you wanted to apply has rejected you the visa you applied for rejects you and life is just not making sense anymore and you just wonder like like a few months ago i was having the time of my life and now i don't even know if the the future i used to think i'm going to have is the one i'm going to have and the bishop was just telling us this is how life is sometimes we are faced by troubles and then we think god has forsaken us and that has nothing to do with god even if you love god even if you do everything by the bible life is not about having good things happen to you 24 7 365 days a year you're still gonna have bad days you're still gonna have days that you you fail the days you're going to be excelling the days you're going to be failing the days you're going to be thriving the days you're going to be sad the days you're going to be celebrating the days you're going to be grieving that is life you cannot tell god i never want to grieve ever again in my life the only way you're gonna have 24 7 365 days eternal happiness is once we get to heaven but here on earth life is about ups and downs like one minute you're good one minute you're not and it's okay and that's why they say nothing lasts forever 
even the good times don't last forever but guess what even the bad times don't last forever that's that's the beauty nothing will ever last forever so he was just showing us how as much as J joseph was blessed and everything he still had to go through his downs but the best part about it was the fact that we are told but the lord was with him when he was famous, the Lord was with him. When he was in prison, the Lord was with him. When he was the highest ranking Potiphar's servant, the Lord was with him. When he was taken to the king's prisoner, the Lord was with him. And God gave him favor wherever he went. Even at his lowest point, God gave him favor. So all you have to do is make sure, no matter what you go through in life, just make sure you never let go of God. Hold on to God. Let everything else leave you. Be ready to lose everyone and everything else as long as you do not lose God. Because God ndo alijua mbona likuleta hapa. God ndo alikuwa na plan all along. Wo ulijipata hapa? Like we literally just found ourselves on this earth wherever we were born with the family that we were given. We didn't choose any anything. We didn't choose anything literally. So let the one who chose all these things don't lose him. Don't lose God. Let him be the center of your life. No matter how, how many times seasons change, when you're successful, let him be the center. When you're grieving, let him be the center. When life is not making sense, let God always be the center of your life. So that even at your lowest, God will give you favor with people who are high. You could be there. You could feel so inadequate in a room. Now, that is a room God has given you favor in. You walk in and everyone looks at you. Everyone is looking up to you. Everyone loves your work ethic. That is the God we serve. That is the God I serve. That is the God I'm advocating to you guys. So, yeah, this just gave me so much hope and it made me realize i should not be afraid of bad times bad times will always come whether i do right by god or not everyone goes through bad days bad weeks bad years there's always something bad or wrong that is going to happen but just remember as long as you have god he's going to give you favor even when the whole world is not giving you grace God is going to give you grace. God is going to give you favor. God is going to walk with you. God is never going to leave you. God is never going to abandon you. He brought you on this earth. He knows why he brought you here. So trust that his plans are for prosperity and not disaster. And you're going to come out of it. You're going to come out of whatever situation is holding you back right now. You're going to come out of it and you're gonna come out the head and not the tail. I look so beautiful. Me nim supua se guy. Kesha ni bath dangu be then mambia. Kesha ni bath dangu. You're gonna be watching this video on my birthday. So by the time you watch this video, I'm 25 officially. I am an adult now. Leave <laughs> Anyway, guys, that is the word of the day. I hope this word uh, speaks to you the way it spoke to me. I hope it helps you realize that whatever you're going through in this life, God is always there with you. Just reach out and let him take control and let him give you favor, even when you don't feel like you have favor. Um, I'm going to close this vlog here. If you've watched to this point, I don't know how long or short this vlog is, but thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for 6K subscribers. Thank you for everyone who shares my videos. I see the engagement and I'm so thankful. Thank you for everyone who watches ads. Guys, I notice, like, I see it, like, it makes sense. You guys actually watch the ads and I love that so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking your time to watch ads. I know ads can be really annoying. So just the fact that you guys watch it for me means a lot. Please like this video if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys. The next vlog is my birthday vlog. So please stay tuned. Turn off the notification bell if you haven't. Because you don't want to miss me being 25. Bye, guys. <laughs>